In this video, we're going to get jQuery working on our site. But before I do, I'd like to show you a quick shortcut that you can use to build out a page really quickly. So in Sublime Text 3, there are these things called snippets, which let you write a little line of code and then normally tab to build out the rest of it. So for example, I could write HTML and then hit tab and then it builds everything out. Now make sure that your file is saved as index.html in order for this to work. You can also type in lorem tab and it builds out a whole bunch of lorem ipsum for you to use as well. Uh, there's a bunch of other snippets. You can just Google Sublime Text 3 snippets. A whole bunch will pop up. All right, but let's get jQuery loaded on our page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to jQuery.com. Click on this orange download jQuery button. Then we're going to scroll about halfway down the page. If you want to, you can download it, but I'm just going to use their CDN. So I'm just going to copy this line of code right here. For now, actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it in the right place the first time. You can enter it uh, into the head. If you wanted to, you could put it right there. It's really better to have it at the bottom, though. Um, all JavaScript ideally should be at the bottom, and jQuery is built on JavaScript. The reason you want this at the bottom is because JavaScript and jQuery, it's all functionality. But without having anything loaded, your HTML and your CSS, there's nothing to have functionality uh, actually act on. So it doesn't really make any sense for you to load the functionality before you load your page. There might be certain cases for it, but 90% of the time, there's just really no reason to. So you definitely want to have your JavaScript at the very end, right before the closing body tag. All right, so we have this saved here. But it actually will not work unless I have it hosted on a server, so it won't work on your local host unless you include HTTP colon. And this will still work on your local host as well. Um, if we go back to jQuery.com, it actually tells us to use the jQuery CDN, just reference the file directly. I have no idea why they do not include it in there already, um, but they just don't. So make sure that you include HTTP colon right in front of those two forward slashes. All right, so we have this working, and we're just going to write a little bit of code to test it out and make sure that jQuery is working on our site. So we're going to just write some script tags, opening and closing script tags, and this is where we're going to put our jQuery. And what we can do is we can write document dot ready function tab this out. We can just write an alert, jQuery is working, and we're going to save it. So let's go back to our page real quick. And there we go. We get this alert that jQuery is working. That's our text right there that we wrote in those script tags. We say OK. We'll go back. So I just want to translate what we wrote here really quickly. And that's what you want to do whenever you're writing JavaScript or jQuery. You want to translate it into plain English because it's not very easy to read. That's actually people's number one complaint with JavaScript in general is that it's really difficult to read. So I want you to get in the habit of trying to translate everything into clear English that you can really easily understand. So we'll just do that line by line and we're just going to write a little comment for that. So here this is saying when the page, the document, is ready, kind of means loaded. There's another one that says document.load, so I don't want to really confuse you with this. It basically means when the, when the page is ready for JavaScript or jQuery to initiate, do this. So whenever you see function, I want you to translate function into do this, do this thing. And then whatever follows inside of the, these opening and closing curly brackets, is that thing that they want you to do. So when the page is ready, and all ready to go, send an alert that has this text inside of it, which is exactly what happens when we load it. The second it's ready, it pops up every time I refresh. So if we had to write some text here for this little comment for ourselves, we can just do pop up text contained inside of alert. So I want you to get in the habit of really commenting your JavaScript and your jQuery early on so that you'll really understand exactly what's going on. You can just go back and review it as well as you continue to learn.